everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I have a mid-September grocery haul for you. Yeah, I do. It's that time of month. Gotta go shopping. Um, I have already shared the beginning of September with you guys. Now it's the middle of September. Um, last week I shared with you guys uh, how I put the grocery list together and my meal planning. So go ahead and check that out. Um, I am Kendra, by the way. Welcome if you are new here. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, would you? We're getting so close to um, YouTube taking us seriously. So anyways, over here on our channel, it's myself, my husband, Nathan, and our six kiddos. Um, we share about foster care over here, family adventures, and other things. Um, so feel free to look around and hang out with us as you would like. And I'm going to turn you around and show you our grocery haul. All right, starting over here, I have Rice Krispie cereals. I'm going to be making Scotch Roos with these. Um, this, I don't even know how to say it. Oats and honey granola. Um, the kids have been eating this on yogurt in the morning and then I've been eating it just as cereal for a long time and I love it. 60 um, eggs. I have been getting some local eggs, but um, I just didn't have time to get to her and we needed eggs this weekend. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Two boxes of family size honey bunches of oats. These are a staple item in our house. Um, value pack of oats and honey granola bars. These are going to be for um, school snacks and dance snacks. Cucumbers, soup cucumbers. We always like these English cucumbers um, over the, uh, I don't know, regular cucumbers. They're just so much better. If we do get regular cucumbers out of a garden, that's great, but otherwise, English cucumbers. And that one seems, oh, bummer. That one's not very good. All right, original chips. I've been making a dip with for the kids um, after school for these, like a sour cream dip. So got those two lesser evil popcorn. This is the Himalayan sweetness. It um, tastes like uh, kettle corn and it's delicious. That's for school snack. Simply Cheeto Puffs, two bags of these. Uh, we just have these with I don't know, meals, pair them with meals, snacks, whatever, they're delicious. Shredded lettuce, um, I got this. We're having tacos one night. And then um, also I'm going to be making sandwiches for uh, lunch and so we'll do a little bit of shredded lettuce on that too. A little bit goes a long way. Two things of mini sweet bell peppers. I like to cut these up and just have them on the table and the kids grab them as they want. Um, most of the time I have a little bowl of uh, ranch, Hidden Valley Ranch with them. One thing of bananas. Once again, just living on unpredictable times. Never know if the kids are going to eat the bananas or I'm going to end up putting them in the freezer, um, making banana bread with them. But So got one bundle of bananas. Ramen noodles, 12-pack beef. These are going to be for a meal. We are super busy just trying to get adjusted to dance and activities. So I thought this is going to be a quick meal and the kids will love it. Jello. Here's the strawberry and orange. These are sugar-free. The kids love them. We put them in our yes drawer now. Um, these Baby Bell Light, are these Swiss? Semi soft cheese. I don't know if where is. Hmm. Anyways, um, Sparrow asked for these, so I grabbed them for them. Flaky Jumbo Biscuit. Um, I saw these in the store and I thought, oh, I'm going to make a little bit of a, like a breakfast muffin with these and the sausage and eggs. So grab those. My friend Brittany suggested that and I was like, yeah. I mean, the two together, they were like $3, so not bad. Plates, I love throwaway plates. They are a savior, especially on busy evenings when mom doesn't have time to do, do the dishes. A gift bag for Anaya's friend, and then I got this Wonderloom bucket of bands. They make bracelets with these. Um, our girls don't typically use these things. They use their fingers, and um, yeah. If you have girls, you likely know these are all the rave, and so I got her her friend that. Hopefully she likes making bracelets. Five of these, four of these, I don't know, there must be another one somewhere, of the Carp Smart. These are a lot like Mission Brand um, tortillas, just cheaper, about $2 cheaper bundle. Um, so get these and um, make breakfast burritos with them. Also, we'll use them for tacos. Going around the table now, um, Oscar Mayer wieners. I always buy um, hot dogs. Um, we do like these. These are Bobby approved. Uh, Bobby's a guy that talks about what is good, and these are approved so I always try to get these ones and they're not much more than a regular I don't know uncured hot dog 
however you would say that. Okay, Colby Jack and Cheddar Cheese Sticks. Our kids are over the mozzarella cheese sticks. They sat in our yes drawer for far too long. So I grabbed these. I thought these might be a good a good idea. 36 individually wrapped cheese sticks. We'll see. Hard salami. That'll go for an after school snack with Ritz crackers and these cheese sticks. Five pound bag of potatoes. This is gonna be for our KFC bowls that I was talking about in um, my meal prepping and grocery shopping video that I posted. Already, by the time you see this, popcorn chicken. This is gonna be for those KFC bowls. I grabbed two of them. Sausage, regular Jimmy Dean sausage for breakfast burritos and uh, for those muffin things that I'm gonna be making over there. Tostino's party pack. This is the com combination. I grabbed this for my husband, so he has it for lunches. Chocolate chip ice cream family size. Uh, we do like ice cream around here, so. That was like not too bad. It was only like $7. I don't know, I always imagine these tubs are more than that, but $7. Going around the table again, there's one thing of strawberries, one thing of blueberries, one thing of blackberries. Our kids have not been very berry. They just haven't wanted berries for a while. So you see how big these blueberries are? Oh, I hope that means they're full of flavor. Egg noodles, that's for the beef stroganoff I'm going to be making, great. I do like to cut up, or no, not cut up, but put grapes and strawberries. Cut up the strawberries, put the grapes together, and that's a good quick snack or side dish for every meal. Here are the beef sticks. These are for the kids' as after school snack, or not after school, at school snack and at dance. Almond milk, unsweetened almond milk. Um, half our family likes almond milk, the other half is just like a 2%, so I grab both. We're not huge uh, milk drinkers. Just spend a little more time over here on YouTube, I realized that um, many families buy like six to eight, about our size, but us, we probably go through like three to four a month. So anyways, Spanish rice to go with our tacos that we're going to be having, sliced mild cheddar cheese. Um, I always say this, but I do like to mention it. Instead of like Velveeta or like the individually wrapped cheese, we always get these, it's a better option pepperonis. Um, I do like to get turkey pepperoni, but they were out of it, so I just went ahead and got that. There's the Ritz crackers. Great value. Um, you can't tell the difference, so they're about a dollar cheaper. Original lemonade, true lemonade. Um, our oldest, Atticus, is 12. He loves adding these to his water, so I grabbed two of those for him. Well, for everybody, but especially for him. Um, turkey breast, deli meat, family pack, whipped cream cheese spread that is for the bagels that we're going to be having for our breakfast i did just pile this on over here so ignore it onions um we always just usually use onions in whatever dish we're using here is some white gravy country gravy um to go along with those kfc bowls uh, we did brown gravy but i saw this and my husband suggested white gravy over the brown gravy so we're going to try it and see three garlic breads i'm going to make ham and cheese sandwiches with those three loaves. Now these, I was kind of bummed. Do you see the price on these? If you spend much time at Walmart, you know these have been a dollar for the longest time. They're $1.47 now where we're at. Um, not to be extremely cheap, but well, that's kind of a bummer. 47 cents more. Three of those for the sandwiches. Butter. Just got the generic butter because butter is really expensive. I'm tripping over the pop down here, but here is the dish tablets. Um, we got uh, bagel thins. They had the bagels that we typically buy last um, grocery haul. They didn't, so you'll see. But these are what I get, the 110 calories, and they're thin, so they're easier um, to eat just the whole thing. Here's the Greek yogurt that I got for the yogurt parfaits. Got two of those um, for the kids, strawberry and blueberry. Mandarin oranges, 12-pack of these. Um, these will go in our yes store. The kids love these. And then right behind it is cuties. We have no um, lack in vitamin C around here. This is... Awesome, we'll be eating both of those. Sliced strawberries, wild blueberries. I got these because I wanted to um, make some like smoothie-like things, maybe for breakfast. Maybe I'll toss in one or two of these and do that. Extra crispy french fries um, to go along with a simple quick meal when we need it. They didn't have corn dogs to go with that, so I need to come up with something else. Maybe we'll just do hot dogs with that. Going down here on this chair, toilet paper, because we always need toilet paper. This is so expensive. I can't remember exactly what it was before the inflation, but right now it's $24. And I'm confident that is not what it used to be. And a 24 pack of Pepsi. That's everything. Yeah, that was a lot. Um, so I spent just under $400. It was $3.99. 
and that was <laughs> inflation right it wasn't a ton but it was a lot um yeah i think that's it we're gonna get ready and go cheer on our local high school football team and um yeah <laughs> anyways if you haven't subscribed please do and we'll see you next time bye guys